Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great today. I am coming at you with my third Valentine Manny. As I promised, I have a couple of them for you. This is going to be the third out of the fifth. And hopefully I can get all five done for you before Valentine's Day. But this is the third and this one was actually fun for me. So I hope you guys will find it as fun as well. I also want to ask you guys out there who look at my video to tell me what do you think about the lighting on this video it's because I usually run my videos at night this one I'm actually doing during the daytime so if you can give me a little feedback and tell me if the lighting is a little better I noticed as I was filming this one during the daytime the light doesn't seem to bounce around and the camera autofocus kind of stayed in place for a change so I will appreciate your advice on that so let me know definitely and let's get started on this mani so, and these are the items I will be using in tonight's manicure I'll go through them very quickly as usual but they will also be listed in the description box for you for details so starting from my right I have my little sticky tape brush some pure acetone my cotton on my cotton claw, a cleanup brush, the nail polishes that I will be using on this manicure as well as my stamping polish, my little tiny stamper, my little tiny scraper, and my stamping plate. So now that we have everything ready, let's get started. All right, my sweetheart, so I have already gone ahead and gotten a head start because I needed my base color to be dried. And tonight, the base color I'm using is white, and you can use any white, of course. I am using, on this manicure, my China Glaze White, and it is called White on White number 023. So pretty much, I did one coat off that, and if you can see, it's not perfect. There are some spots that look like, you know, there's streaks that it's not there. That's fine because most of that is going to be covered up. The only reason I'm applying white to the bottom of this is because I want my colors to come through. And when you apply a white base, those colors tend to pop out at you, especially if you're using lighter colors like I am using tonight. So that's a little tip for you. Always use white on the base color of your lighter colors and those colors would really, really pop out more. So here's what we're going to do. It's like a rainbow heart manicure tonight. And this one is a lot of fun. And it is kind of messy too, but a lot of fun. I really like how this one turned out. And it's kind of cute as well. So I do hope you guys enjoy it as well. So basically, what you're going to need to get that rainbow color at the bottom is your stamp, or believe it or not, and whatever base colors you choose to have your rainbow colors in. Tonight, I am going to use yellow, pink, blue and green and how we're going to do this is we're going to apply it directly onto the stamper and then transfer it into our nails so let me open the nail polishes and have them ready and you should do the same always have them ready on the side so you, you don't have to go back and, and open it while it dries up on the stamper so pretty much have your bottles open on the side get your stamper and also get your little sticky roller tape brush to clean that stamper if it needs to be cleaned okay so now that all my bottles are open this is how we're going to apply this i am not using latex or any type of peel on my fingers tonight because when i tried it before it will pop right up and it, it just made more of a mess than helping me out with this technique and um, just to let you guys know I was inspired by using this technique by Swanet for Nail Stamp for Fun she actually puts the nail polish on the silicone paper or plastic whatever she uses and then pick it up so that was a fun way I tried it and I failed miserably but then when I did it on the stamper for myself this is what works okay so here we go so basically what I'm doing is taking just a couple drops of the color I choose to use and putting it directly on the stamper. And if you could see, that's very light. Okay, you don't need a lot because it's going to transfer right onto your nails. And please excuse me if I'm sniffling here or there. I do have a cold, as you could hear. And I really wanted to get these Valentine's Manny out to you guys, as I promised. So bear with me as you hear me sniffle or sneeze in the background. So I do apologize for it in advance. So there we go. So we have a couple colors on there. And now, this is the fun, messy part that I like so much. We're just going to transfer it over. And when we do that, 
you have to keep turning the stamper to get the color on. If you could see that. And that's pretty much it. Very simple, very, very easy. I don't want to color that whole entire white and hide it up, so I am leaving some spots in there as you could see. And we'll let that one dry and let's do the next two. Very, very quick Manny tonight. And of course you could use, you know, darker colors and, and, and clearer hearts on there, you know, like a white or something. But I just try to stay away from the regular red hearts and white background and stuff. I am going to do one for you guys, you know, for people who want to have that normal kind of look. But I really like to mix it up a little. So here we go again. There's my stamper filled with all those beautiful colors. We just transferring it over. And then you can tap it down as well. If you feel like it's lifting, that's fine. Just tap it down. This doesn't have to be perfect. That's the nice thing about it, okay? And this one now, we'll get to it on that one. And there we have it so that's the bottom or the base colors I should say that we want now the difference is that instead of going and stamping on there right away I am going to apply a coat of my fast drying top coat and the reason that I want to do this now instead of stamping and then adding it is because even though you put the colors on it's very rough and sometimes if you stamp on there and it's too rough the stamping image could get messed up so I am gonna apply a coat of my fast drying top coat and this takes about two minutes to dry thoroughly so let's do that right away and then as this is drying I'll go ahead and clean up around the fingers just a little you could also clean up around the fingers after the entire manicure but I want to do it just to get rid of some of that stuff on the fingers from drying up and, and getting too cakey so in this case, being that we're going to be using a brush to do the cleanup, I am going to clean up after I apply my top coat. So while that is drying, and it should be done by the time we're done cleaning up around the fingers, believe it or not, grab hold of your acetone and also a little brush or whatever little instruments and, and, and tools you use to clean up around your fingers. And just go in gently and clean up all of that nail polish that got around it. Try not to hit the side walls, of course, because you will ruin that base color, and you don't want to do that. And you don't have to do it super clean either, because we are going to do the stamping after. So let me continue doing this, and I'll get back with my Actually, I'm almost done here, so you could stick around. But yeah, let me continue doing this at the moment. And then I'll grab my stamping plate. We'll check and see if that's dried. And I'll grab my stamping plate and all the other stuff I need. And we'll get stamping. And here we are. We're pretty much done with this set of cleanup. So the stamping plate I'll be using tonight is from my Poon collection. This is the Love Elements collection. And I will be using this little image here because I think that's really really cute so we'll be using that and the color that I will be using on that is purple and I am using a darker color purple because the lighter color actually disappeared into my pastels that I used tonight those colors that I used for the background so I am going to use my purple from my bottle monster collection and this is called luna lines and it's number b163 if you can see that 
and it's a nice dark purple almost like an eggplant purple so let me grab my stamping plate let's grab my little stamper again and let's get stamping let me just double check and see if this is all nice and dry and yes we're ready to stamp that's the wonderful thing about the fast drying top coat so here we go and the nice thing about this stamp and polish from bundle monsters a little bit goes a long way I really do like it a lot so there's the little hearts that we're putting on here and you don't have to worry too much about lining up stuff because this is a crazy little manicure and the hearts are not focused on one direction so that's it so let's do the other two right away This is my third Valentine Manny for you guys. So I have two more. Hopefully I can get it done before Valentine's. Image. I'll roll this one right over. Clean up my stamper and my stamping plate. And I usually tell you guys I like to clean my stamping plate and my stamper in between every nail because I just think it helps that you don't have to do it over because eventually the stamping plate will collect all of that nail polish in between and you don't pick up as clean. And there it is. Nice and fast and easy. Now we can go ahead and clean up. So once again, grab hold of your acetone or your non-acetone polish remover, whichever you're using, and grab hold of your little cleanup tool, your brush or your Q-tip or whatever it is that you choose to use, and let's pick those images up from around the nails that we don't need. And then we'll go ahead again and top coat this and let it dry. Here we go. Also, it's good to look under your nails sometimes because you do have little excess pieces at the bottom like this green and purple here. So it's good to just turn your nails over and just check that as well. There we go. Alright, so around the edges is nice and clean. Doesn't seem to have anything left. So let me go ahead now and apply my top coat once again and when you're applying the top coat I always say this and I always repeat myself for, the, for people who are watching my video for the first time I like to give you guys the best information and the best advice as I can so uh, this goes out to you guys who never watched my video before when you are applying your top coat on your stamping image always always load up that brush with your top coat regardless if it's a fast drying top coat or a regular top coat you do not want to skimp because if you do you tend to drag the image that you just stamped with and that's just going to ruin your manicure so be very generous with the top coat my brush is absolutely loaded here always start from one of the ends of your nails whichever more you're comfortable with and always try your very best not to swipe over the same spot twice because once that top coat hit the nail polish image that you just apply it tends to melt that polish as it's working in and that's when you're going to drag the image and ruin it and always cap your nails i'll show you what i mean so there's my first stroke and as you can see i am not going over the same spot twice and this is what i mean by capping your nails just take the brush Again, you can refill that brush and cap the ends of your nails according to whatever shape. That really helps me with the wear and tear of the tips of your nail polish and it also prevents chipping from the tips going up. So I do recommend you do that, okay? So here I go again, starting from one end 
and go in and do not press on that brush either you do not want to press on the brush because if you press on that brush you're definitely going to ruin the stamping image you just applied and this is the last one of course and I'm capping it here so that's pretty much the manicure take a look at these close-ups and I'll be right back So here we have it guys, this is the finished pedicure. I do hope you enjoyed this video tonight and if you have any questions feel free to write to me of course, I will answer them as best as I can and as fast as I can. And also thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos as well and have a good day. Bye now!